Hey YouTubers, I've got something new to talk about, and that's a Springfield Armory XD Elite, a 9mm. Hot off the presses for me, just picked it up, uh, what day was that, for last Friday? So I just want to give you some of my initial thoughts about it, and uh, you're never too old to learn something new. Case in point, uh, I recall when these were being imported in 2001, is, you know, they're made in Croatia, is the HS2000. They didn't really catch the world on fire. And a year or two later, I think in 2002 or three, Springfield Armory started importation under their brand XD Extreme Duty, and these things were everywhere. And uh, even though I was reading great things about them and people who owned them loved them, I didn't have any uh, want or need to, to buy one. And boy, was I wrong. I, I had some prejudice against the XT for some reason. I mean, I've handled them, but I never took the time to... Uh, borrow one or take one out and shoot them and I should have done this much earlier particularly on this full size one so you notice what we're clear here so a purchase like this was kind of driven by events that could have unfold in November and if you live through the 89 um, executive order of importation of uh, high capacity assault weapons. You know, Bush Sr. signed that one, the 94 crime bill. If you live through those, you know to expect anything this November. Particularly if a candidate that's not friendly to the Second Amendment takes office. And I don't want to get political here, but you know what I'm talking about. With the sign of a pen, things like this could be uh, banned from importation. AK pistols it won't take much, and it happens very fast. So um, I'm not saying it may or may not happen. We don't know, but I didn't want to find out. So anyway, when these came out, they caught my eyes. A pure suppressor host has a lot of nice features. You see the, the plate cut for the optic. You see the nice tall suppressor sights. Throw the barrel. Some updates to the slide cuts. Enormous 22 round magazine capacity plus one 23. And a very nice match for, that's a rugged Obsidian 9. And yes, I fired this with the suppressor, both in the K mode and full size mode. And um, I got to tell you, we live in a great time to, to own handguns. You're seeing the convergence of competition pistols. Com uh, combat pistols kind of merging into one. You've got match barrels. This does come with a match barrel. You've got great ergonomics. You've got capacity all lining up. We're seeing that with I'll throw something else out there. Something like the Shadow Systems 920L Tack Driver Pistol. Match Barrel. Optics Ready. So you see the new generation of, of pistols that are hitting the market now have a lot of these new features. It's really putting pressure on uh, competitors to, to match it. We see it with the new uh, IWI Masada. Optics cut, 
Those seem to be getting great reviews and they're reasonably priced. But make no mistake, this is the full size service pistol. It's big. And for my purposes, yeah, I'll I throw I'll throw it in a whole shoulder holster in the winter time and carry it. I don't think there would be uh it might be a little much to conceal it. Even on in a, inside the waist holster. But that's not the point. I've got pistols dedicated for that. So I put uh, hmm, 300 rounds through it. Mixture of subsonic 147s and 115 grain ball. And boy, I tell you what. This is a very accurate uh, pistol. 15 yards um, with premium ammunition, and that was, I think it was Hornaday Critical Defense, I had a nice clover leaf, it was really shooting fantastic, so, just my, uh, opinion, very accurate, very ergonomic, got some very nice features, Nice finish, well machined, lots of internal polishing. And uh, the only other competitors, let's see, from a size standpoint, is this uh, M17 is probably, from a striker fired standpoint, the only thing that compares as far as capacity and... Well, it doesn't have the threaded barrel, but it is cut forward. And this is the military variant. That's cut for Delta Point Pro. You do lose the rear sight on the SIG. If you notice, they're comparable in size. And again, that's, you know, clearly a service, service sized uh, pistol, the M17. Which one's better? I mean, um, that's all personal preference. So I hope this uh, helped you out. If you're looking in the market for these Springfield Army XD Elites, um, we got nothing to lose here. For the price, it's a lot of gun. My brother has an XDM in and ten millimeter and XDM and nine millimeter. I, I'm I'd like to shoot the ten millimeter. Um, that with fifteen round capacity, that's pretty nice. So hope this uh, this helps you make a decision. Have a good one.